here with the newest Kansas State basketball commit. David, congratulations, first of all, and thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So tell me about why you chose Kansas State. The hats up there were KU, Oklahoma State, and Kansas State. What made you decide you wanted to be a Wildcat? Um, I wanted to be a Wildcat because, uh, you know, Coach Tang and, and the, the entire environment over there in Manhattan. Um, you know, I just love Manhattan and I, I love Kansas State and, and Coach Tang. Um, you know, he's preaching every day and then, uh, you know, he wants, he wants some dudes and uh, I, I think I'm a dude. At what point did you maybe know that it was Kansas State or that you were even leaning that way um, and, and maybe they were on your radar? You're like, hey, I might want to go play there. I think the first time I really um, knew I wanted to go play for Coach Tang is when he called me after the March Madness game. He called me and he, he yelled at me and he said, I know you want to be a dude. And, uh, you know, kind of he kind of hit me in the chest a little bit. It's like, yeah, I kind of do. And, um, you know, for him to say that and call me right after the game is very special. What game was that? Do you remember? It was after the after the Sweet 16, maybe. Sweet 16 game. Yeah. Sweet 16 game. After they beat Michigan State, right, probably. Right, okay. right, right. Yeah, I'm sure he was pretty fired up then. Yeah, Talk right. about some specific conversations that you had with the coaching staff leading up to that time. Um, stuff that they were telling you about what they think you can accomplish, stuff like that. Uh, stuff that stood out to you, maybe different from other schools that were recruiting. Because I know a lot of teams wanted you. Right. Um, they just wanted me to. Uh, they wanted me to know that I was going to have the ball in my hands and I was going to. I was going to, you know, learn how to be a point guard. Um, I feel like that coaching staff can, can teach the game of basketball on and off the court um, and teach how to be a person off the court. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's very uh, grateful to just be in this position right now. You mentioned that Coach Tang always talks about wanting to develop young men more than even develop basketball players. Was that important to you that you feel like he's going to make you a better husband, a better father someday? It was very important. It was probably number one on my list, um, you know, just to know that uh, he's also a black man that, you know, uh, and grew up with some struggle in his life and you know to, to go through all the adversity he's seen it he's seen it all and for him to help me um, is just uh, wanting to help me too and to see you know almost like a light in, in, in me and uh, you know I just I wanted to be a good person too as well and that's that's like the main thing I, I, I appreciate is just being a good person. We talked about it a little bit earlier but K-State had a pretty good point guard just this past season did that stand out to you you say man if if they get, you know, if their point guards are playing like that, I want to be the next one. Right. Uh, it definitely stood out. Um, you know, to see Marquis Noel and the success that he had, um, you know, I want to have that type of success. I want to be able to, you know, have the spotlight, have the ball in my hands and make plays. And, um, you know, to see that, it was, it was almost like a little switch and you just knew that I had to be there. Tell me about your style of play. What can we expect from you here in a few years when you get to Manhattan? You're playing in the Octagon of Doom. What's that going to look like? Are you a pass first guy? Are you, you going to run up 30, 40 points? I probably do a little bit of everything, but what, when, are you, when are you at your best? Um, I think I'm my best when I just compete. Um, I love competing. I love, uh, you know, just going at the other team and, and want the will to win. Um, you know, I love competing. I love, uh, I have a killing mentality. Um, I always want to go at people who I want to, I want to win and I want to destroy, you know, so. Um, I think Coach Tang can help me with that, and he also has a killer mentality and, and you know, wants to win, very competitive. You mentioned that Coach Tang told you he wanted to win a national championship, right? How much did that fire you up here and that? And you're like, That's, I guess I can get on board with that. Well, right. that sounds like a good goal. Right. <laughs> um, you know, to see that he almost did it in one year, um, it, just, it just told me, like, man, what can he accomplish mm -hmm. in the next few? And, um, you know, uh, just I trust him, you know, to my full 100%. And, uh, you know, just I want to win him a national championship. One more year of high school ball, win a state title or something like that, and then you're on to Manhattan. You excited? Very excited. Very excited. All right. I'm sure Wildcat fans are excited, too. I'm excited, and uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.